Good morning YouTube, Ian here from Cool Ice Charge Case and Power Supplies. I hope you're all safe and well and potentially if you're in the UK you're not enjoying a, not enjoying a very nice sunny day. It's very cold oh, cold and wet today, you have to excuse me if I hiccup because um, I've got them and I can't get rid of them and this case is being collected shortly and I'd like to grab a quick video. Basically I'm not going to go into too much detail as such with this one. Um, it's a small case the customer, Andy Kirby, already had a case from me to house his, his, his four ISDT Q8 chargers. And obviously I spec'd a slightly larger case because we, I lined all the chargers up side by side, if you like, obviously with space between. Uh, charge connectors then below it, or below each charger, should I say, so that he could then put one charger Oh, sorry, one lipo per charger and obviously charge each one quite nicely on the deck and obviously that was working out quite well but Andy does quite like to keep things small and compact and it's easy to cart around so he said to me Ian, while I love the case it's great because obviously this one also had lid storage and I'm yet to post that video on YouTube, I'll perhaps try and do that before I do this one or after um, he wanted it smaller so he said can you put all that I've got in a smaller case and sure enough I said yes let's give it a go because I already had the design I just hadn't actually machined one so the story with this case design was that in the end I actually ended up making two one went out as a kit of parts and Sean has put that together himself um, so between us then we were bouncing back and forth emails because it was obviously the first time I'd ever been trying to put one together so I was obviously any issues that we had we came we overcome them um, and then I'd obviously send him the information on how to fix that or anything and one of the main ones we had or should I say the only real one we had was heat essentially we've obviously got the server supply units in the bottom of this case so the 2400 watt uh, 25 volt 100 amp units and of course they get, do get warm so being spaces at a premium can't really have terribly large fans in this case so we had to I had to improvise a little bit and think outside the box so my solution to that was let's let me create some 3d printed ducts which would obviously they'd be it would be a three piece design um, a main duct that, that would bolt on the back of the fan assembly on the PSUs themselves. Uh, an inner flange part, as I call it, which also then bolts to the inside of the case and obviously then obviously allows the duct that is mounted to the PSU to slide within it. And I've left a little bit of an air gap there as best as I can to act almost like as, as a Venturi effect. So obviously as the fan of the power supply is obviously exhausting hot air out it's also sucking in air or taking in air from within the case and mixing it and sending it out through the third part, which is the grill. And as you can see, 3D printed again. And they're just a flat grill with obviously the grill bits put in it. And obviously then the four mounting screws then, which obviously clamp the grill to not only the side of the case, but the inner flange part on the opposite side of the case. And I'll add some photos of that so you can show the innards of, the, of that sort of layout. But that works really well. So that fixed the only real issue, which was the fact that the case over this side, where the exhaust of the fans was also, uh, where the exhaust of the PSUs was obviously being thrown out of the PSUs and was obviously then essentially just pulling under the deck, this side of the deck was getting a little bit warmer to the touch. It wasn't excessive, but at the same breath, we obviously don't want any heat being kept within the case. So with those there that's perfect the PSUs just suck the air out the case which is mildly warmed I suppose if that and then it's just expelled out the side to atmosphere perfect brilliant feedback from uh, Sean said perfect here that's fixed the issue brilliant well done he had a 3d printer so he could obviously I just sent him the the STL parts and he could obviously print those and mount them in his case after drilling a hole and uh, away you went. So we're sorted and I've implemented that obviously on this build. So let's open it up. As you see, very nice, small, compact case, very small. If I get a rule, actually, that might actually help a little bit. So there's obviously your typical 30 centimeter rule. I can lay that on the case and you can see it's practically just a shade over a foot rule long. So it's perfect. I haven't actually put the screws in to secure the deck down. I'll do that in a minute because Andy's on his way shortly. 
Um, but as you can see, slight change from the norm on this one. When I showed him some pictures of obviously where, how long, how, how should I say, how far along I'd got with creating the, the deck and obviously wiring it all up, Andy turned around and said, you know what, Ian, I quite like that as it is, with the finish as it is. So don't stick your usual carbon film on it. Didn't bother me. Saves me one less job of obviously having to apply the film, then obviously manually hand cut out all these various cutouts. So it's, it obviously saves time. And to be honest with you, it's quite a nice little feature, actually. Also, I do scuff up the surface, um, which was which is obviously in an effort to key the surface for the... Uh, vinyl film so obviously it has a little bit of something to stick to rather than a smooth plastic shiny surface um, so obviously that's taken the shine off of it and made it a little bit of a dull finish which is good obviously it, it won't get marked so easily and everything else and of course then with the screws going on top of the plastic it won't bunch up the carbon so you have which you have to be careful of not to over tighten the screws um, so let's go into the features obviously typically We've got my 3D printed charger cradles then obviously holding the chargers underneath and obviously the charger is then recessed into the back of the 10mm thick polypropylene deck material again. So that obviously keeps the charger in place almost and the, the, the cradle then which obviously bolts in underneath not only forms the cooling duct because obviously these chargers pull in cooling air from the front and then obviously it travels through, and up through the com hot components and from the heatsink the fan then is at the back so it acts as a uh, is it a tractor fan or extraction fan i can't remember which one it is now and then obviously it comes out the back and obviously then it's guided up through this rearward slot here so of course then the 3d printed part i think as i've shown in my other twin builds is basically a, a duct an air channel duct so obviously there's four individual cradles there one for each charger and of course then you've got the air slots on each one the main charging connectors got an, an, an ATS capable JST X8 so a 9 pin JST connector there and then obviously an XT60 for the main charger output and obviously then that's typical and obviously they're bolted in then from the underside so they are flush with the deck surface nice and neat down the middle a little bit of an oversight here originally I was going to go for three 40 millimeter fans but where I'd obviously space them equally so it looked good on the deck as you can see turns out that the uh, XT90 DC jack input point on this charger, I think it is, and I can probably just about show you it there yet, we can just about see the connection points, they were obviously fouling on the side of the fan. So in hindsight, and perhaps I might do this on the next builds, I can obviously move the chargers across 5mm, and I'll likewise then do the same with the connectors as well. If I moved everything over five five or six mil this way and then five or six mil over that way just gives a little bit more room down the middle so we're basically just running two fans two 40 mil fans obviously they're 12 volt ones wired in parallel to the 12 volt output of the power supplies and that's actually quite good i'm not too fussed about not having the third one in there to be honest with you, because that then would then just act as a, an air, another air inlet hole for the case itself which is great because obviously the power supplies obviously have their own individual fans they're obviously exhausting their hot air from the side so another air inlet and these ones i've actually got as air outlet so they're sucking air out so any uh pulling warmed air within there is also being expelled out i'd rather pull the air out of the case rather than push it in and likewise can't necessarily see it because it's not light in there but the inlet slots at the beginning or should i say at the bottom of the chargers the 3D printed cradle not only obviously acts as a duct going in, but they're open going straight down into the case. You can probably just about see, yeah, you can just about see the shine of the power supplies there at the bottom. So these front air slots that are specifically there for the charger, admittedly, also allow air to be drawn into the case at the same time. So that works out quite nice. So as you can see, it's nice and simple. Nothing too major, nothing too fancy, but it just gets the job done. It's going to look good. I haven't weighed it, admittedly. Um, it is, even though it's a small case, it's quite a heavy case. The power supplies obviously make up quite a large chunk of the weight, as well as obviously, you know, four chargers and additional wiring under there. It is tight within, within the case. There isn't much room, but the way it's all worked out, and obviously I'm using 12 gauge wire to go from the power supplies to uh, the chargers themselves and then obviously then from the chargers to the charge output ports on there so th the wire stays pretty thin 
So it just fits in there just right and he's going to make a nice job for Andy. He's going to enjoy this one. It's going to be nice and simple. The only drawback is compared to his other case, there's no storage in the lid as such. There's no fancy pull-out drawer or anything like that. But then he could use, we could perhaps use some Velcro in there and obviously he could Velcro some of his Charles leads and then potentially the only lead he would have to carry around would be his AC lead. But small price to pay to get small portability. I can turn it on. I connected it all in. Obviously the AC then I managed to squeeze at the back. Nice and neatly. It just fits again with the fans. And as you can see, all the chargers are up and powered. I do like these little Q8s. Uh, for the cost of them, you, you, can't, you really can't complain with these ones. They are really cost effective. So yeah, this is going to be quite nice to get some feedback on this one as it's used in the out in the real world. So thanks for watching again. Stay safe and uh, you'll see me on the next charge case builds. See you soon. Bye-bye.